Thank you, Jesus. We worship you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I said in our today's prayers, we are warring against conspiracy in the name of Jesus Christ. And I want us to go before God and just thank him for, you know, a beautiful day that he has given us to be able to pray in the name of Jesus. Father, we want to thank you. We want to give you praise and we want to give you glory. We worship you and adore you. We worship you and glorify you. Because you are God and there is no other God like you. Thank you for the opportunity you've given us to pray. We thank you for the grace you have given us to pray. As we begin our prayers in the mighty name of Jesus, we are bringing this meeting that you will meet each one of us at the very point of our needs in the mighty name of Jesus. You will be exalted in our lives. You will be glorified in our lives. Let the Holy Spirit flow in our lives as we minister unto you, giving you mouth offering of praise in the name of Jesus. Jesus Christ, be exalted and be magnified in the name of Jesus Christ, Son of the Living God. Hallelujah. We are going to look at Matthew chapter 12. We're just going to look at, you know, a few scriptures as we start. Matthew chapter 12. And uh, this is the story of Jesus. Uh, Jesus has just performed, you know, a miracle. He's he has met with this man who had a withered hand. And uh, verse 10 says, And behold, there was a man with a, who had a withered hand. And they asked him, saying, Is it lawful to heal on the Sabbath that they might accuse him? Mm -hmm. Then Jesus said to them, What man is there among you who has one sheep and it is fallen? into a pit mm -hmm. on the Sabbath, will not lay hold of it and lift it out. Oh, how much more value then is a man, is a man than a sheep. Therefore, is it lawful to do good on the Sabbath? Then he said to the man, stretch out your hand. And, and he stretched it out and it was restored as whole as the other. Mm -hmm. Look at verse 14. That is what you are praying against. Mm -hmm. Then the Pharisees went out and plotted against him. How they might destroy him. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. But in this case, 15 things. But when Jesus knew it, he withdrew from there. And great multitudes followed him and he healed them all. Praise God. Mm -hmm. So... The problem of Jesus began by some religious people who felt threatened because from their religion was producing law, you know, thou shalt, thou shalt. But Jesus was demonstrating power. He was mm -hmm. showing power. Jesus was potential. If you are sick, you meet with Jesus, you knew you would be okay. I mean... People would drag themselves out of their homes just to go and touch his garment. People would carry their people just to go and break the roof and make sure this person drops before Jesus. Why? Because they had confidence in him. When the Pharisees, you know, they saw that Jesus was still making it, they challenged him like this, he has an answer. They challenged him like this, he has an answer. You know, by the time he's asking them, is it good to do, is it okay to do good on the Sabbath or to do evil? And I mean, if one of you, Kondotu, Yanguka Kwamtaru, on this special Sabbath day, you will not leave it there, you will remove it. How much more helping a human being, you know, a child of God on this material day? They came out of there and they now had a plan. They, will, they would conspire against Jesus and make sure to eliminate him. You understand? Okay. Conspiracy, at times, it's born out of envy. You know, mm -hmm. when you are working in this office, you're doing better than them. Obviously, Jesus in the office of religion and salvation and everything, he was the word. Mm -hmm. They had the twisted word, Jesus was the word. Praise God. Mm -hmm. And you find people who are contending against you. Many times they will gang up 
and conspire. You know, they will gang up and plot how to bring you down, how to eliminate you. Jesus walked away from that place when he, when he, when he knew, when he says to them. Let us look in the book of Acts 23. Uh, this is now the case. That was Jesus. And you know how it ended there? Eh? They, they walked him to the cross. Something that starts with envy. Eh? He is saying he's God. He is saying he's saying he's bread. Is he going to give us his flesh? You know, once people start conspiring against you, they will always now start picking on negative things. Have you ever seen these people? They start a small war with you, and they make sure it's a it's an all it's an all out war. Praise God. So here is Brother Paul in the book of Acts twenty three, Acts chapter twenty three, and you know this is sad, yeah. Paul's story is sad. Hallelujah. Verse 12 of 23 says, And when it was it was day, some of the Jews bounded together and bound themselves under an oath, saying that they would neither eat nor drink till they had Paul killed. Mm -hmm. Some of these people, Paul does not know them. You know, people ask me, hey, why would people want to hug me? What have I done to them? What have I done? To You've done nothing. The thing is you love God. The thing is you are good. The thing is you are minding your own business. But it does not cost you to do something for the wicked to conspire against you. Mm. All they need to do is that you are, you are flourishing in your marriage. You are happy. When they visit you as a couple, they know they have more money than you. They are driving a better car. But when they come into your house, they are in stitches. It's full of love and laughter. They are. They find your house such a beautiful environment that they just want to shatter it. It's envy. I mean, why is Musonya happy? Eh? Why is he happy? I remember there's a place we used to live, and we we our landlady. We used to live in the same compound with our our landlady. She was married. She had the apartment. They were hers, and they were not just ten. They were like a a five-story building and every floor had like five houses, you know, self-contained and everything. So we were many. But my house was next to the the pillar where people would sit when they're outside, outside the compound. So in my, if you want to if drop when we are talking with my husband, all you need to do is just go there and sit there. So at that time we had our, our, our rency was what? We got rents in that house. So we used to laugh and we were doing really badly. We, we were doing badly. So we would pick up Renzi and we start telling her, you, do you know which family we've introduced you to? You, you love to grow thick skin. And the dad would lift and say, this is how you grow thick skin. Now we are laughing. You know, we are laughing, you know, out of our situation. This landlady, she, she would even call my husband and ask him, what are you people doing about? At first I thought, her people forbidden from making, you know, like being up in this place. Then she, like, she now became serious. She would even call me and ask me, why do you laugh with your husband? What is funny? What is funny? You've not even paid rent. Why are you laughing? You know, it was so bad. Then I, then one day she just came and told me, how can you be happy? I have the, 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 the apartments are mine. I'm not happy. What are you laughing about? I don't want to, to laugh here. Unless you have my money. I don't know. She was just... She was full of bile. And she's not the only one. There are people like that. We have relatives like that. We have office people. They know you are getting lower salary. You're, it's like you should be crying by debt 15 because they know you don't have money. They know you are struggling to make ends meet. But you are good. You look like you come when, when you reach the office, you call your wife, sweetie, hey, mom's in the gym. You know, and the bus dropped me off so far. I ran in the drove. He drove into the place and he's annoyed. He fought with his wife. They look at you. They conspire. They gather two or three. Have you seen how this guy is laughing in this office? Eh? Another one who has already ditched his wife. Now they meet together. And another one who has ditched her husband. And they are there. Yeah, he feels like he's the king of families. Eh? Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. You should see his small house. But when he's seated on that stool, he looks like the king in the castle. They conspire. Praise God. And that is it. Now, these ones, they bound themselves with an oath. It is so bad when the conspiracy against you is backed by demonic oaths. When people say, we will not, our hands, they will not see sleep. Eh? We will not have peace. In this house, there will be no peace until this woman goes. That's a conspiracy. 
do not treat it lightly. You know, Jesus had to leave. He left. He left them. He just walked away. But he knew. And he was even warning people when he prays for them, he says, eh, 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 just turn it down. You know, just turn it down. I've even seen our son, who is under the mother's wraps in Baka, if they help you, they tell you not to tell their mother. Like, let's see, if you help somebody, you tell them, don't let my mother know that I helped you because you don't know how to deal with me and I am going to make sure you cannot help somebody. Let's see, what did you tell them? What did you give them? I've seen those people of parents of, what did you give them? You know, when they come to visit you, your mother is there walking like your bodyguard, Musonye. Eh? You walk into a house, the wife and the children, they come. What do you want to tell our father? Yeah. What do you, in, in short, what do you, which help do you want? Praise the Lord. The people that conspire against you without north, they are so bad. And these are many a times the wicked, the witches and wizards, wicked personalities, wicked people. Many a times they always swear. you find the two of them saying, Uta tutambua, you will know us. And they sit and they plot and they will execute their plots if you are not careful. And they have already done so. Many of you today are walking with a cloud of darkness, a cloud of failure, cloud of rejection hanging over your lives because you worked in offices where you found favor with some people and others decided you did deserve it. My friend, in today's I pray for Kenyans. In offices today, people can gang up together. Three, they go to a witch doctor to bewitch another one. Just... It's not just so they overthrow you, just so they take over. So these ones, guess how many they were? But 13 says now, there were more than 40 who had formed this conspiracy. More than 40. Can you imagine if more, you know, Jesus says, if you meet two or three, I am in your midst. Tell me more than 40 satanic people <laughs> who is in their midst. Hell, the demons set himself. They have wicked support. And it is very sad for me. Let me tell you something. It's so sad because when a child of God is after vengeance, you know, after protection, after revenge, God work it so that people know. Sometimes it takes, it's so slow. It's very slow. But when the wicked are after you, <clears throat> when the wicked swear to takupata, be, don't be arrogant. You know, we grew up in those arrogant days of mutadu. It's okay. Go and meet. When the wicked tell you, I will come for you, you had better listen. You had better withdraw. You had better turn it down. Go back to prayer in Jesus' name. So today, who has conspired against your life? In which office did they conspire against you? Mm. What are they doing? What are they doing against your marriage? Mm. How many are they? Who, your auntie and who else? What did they say will happen? Praise God. What have they said about your children? Today we are waging war against that conspiracy. Mm. How many of they? How many are they? Are they 40? Are they 50? Are they four? Are they two? As long as it's one hand plus another one, you know, one hand put on another one, hand and hand, guess what? You need to rise up and pray because just one person can make you suffer when they cast you. Mm -hmm. How many more? Your, your three uncles and two aunties and mm -hmm. their, your uncles and their wives, your aunties and their husbands, they sit and they conspire against you. Even when they are sitting and saying, Uyum, utoto, tunaona, hakuna mahali, anaenda. that is conspiracy. Yeah. Because there are many, you know, it's collective. They are saying, tunaona, wewe na nani, tunaona. You hear people say, what wanasemanga? Which people? Wanasemanga wapi? Are you getting that? So, who has conspired against you? I want you to pray. Oh, I want to read your scripture here. It's beautiful, this one. It's beautiful. Uh, in the book of it, uh, Isaiah chapter what? Chapter 8? Hallelujah, chapter 8. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Which scripture, which verse is this? Da, da, da. Chapter 8. Hallelujah. Chapter 8. Hallelujah. Verse 10. Okay. Nine. It says, be shattered, all you people, and be broken in pieces. Give ear, all ye from far countries. Guard yourselves, be broken to pieces. Other, another scripture says, gather yourselves together. 
but you will be broken to pieces. Mm. Gather yourselves, but be broken in pieces. Verse 10 says it, take counsel together, but it will come to nothing. Mm -hmm. Speak the word, but it will not stand, for God is with us. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. The number one thing is to make sure that God is with us. If you imagine, Paul, for over 40 people conspiring against you, if God is not with you, what will happen? Mm -hmm. Are you getting? So when God is with you, mm -hmm. they conspire, they make plans, they they plot it, they know how, who will stand where, who will shoot when, who will hit you when, but God is for you, they will scatter. Mm -hmm. That counsel will come to nothing. In fact, in other places, you will go home with your heads bowed down. You know, mm -hmm. those people who conspire against you, they will go home with their heads bowed low. They cannot, they cannot take pride in what they did because they will not see the success of it in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. I want to read you Psalm 64 too. Psalm 64 too. Is this 64 or 62? Oh, Thank you, Jesus, our Savior. 64 to yeah. Mm -hmm. David is talking about what he will do. What he will do. 64, 2 says, Hide me from the secret plots of the wicked, mm -hmm. from the rebellion of the workers of iniquity. What do they do? Who sharpen their tongue like a sword and bend their bows to shoot their arrows, bitter words, that they may shoot in secret at the blameless. Suddenly they shoot at him and do not fear. They encourage themselves and in and and evil in in an evil matter. Mm -hmm. They talk of laying snares secretly. They say, Who will see them? Praise God. Mm -hmm. Deliver me. You know, they are there. They they they've ganged against me. They even encourage themselves. There is not one to discourage. You know, when this guy was signing up for Jesus to be uh, crucified. Mm -hmm. At least his wife came. Yeah. There was one to discourage and say, eh, 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 please, eh? the dream I had about this man, in this case, when they conspire against you, among us themselves, they are shouting, you know, they have a unified voice of crucify him, crucify him. What have you done? You don't even know what you've done. So I want us to go before the Lord and let us deal with evil people who are conspiring against our destinies in the mighty name of Jesus. What have they conspired against you? I want you to raise your voice in Jesus' name and declare every conspiracy organized against my destiny. Scatter in the name wow. of Jesus Christ. Every Jesus single one Christ, organized Jesus. against your destiny. Commanded to scatter in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So I pray in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Son of the living God. In the name of Jesus, organize against my destiny. Let them I pray the mighty name of Jesus. Let them scatter in the mighty name of Jesus. Let them scatter in the mighty name of Jesus. Let it scatter in the mighty name of Jesus. Let it scatter in the mighty name of Jesus. Let it scatter in the mighty name of Jesus. Let it scatter in the mighty name of Jesus. Let it scatter in the mighty name of Jesus. Let it scatter in the mighty name of Jesus. Let it scatter in the mighty name of Jesus. Let it scatter in the mighty name of Jesus. Let it scatter in the mighty name of Jesus. Let it scatter in the mighty name of Jesus. Let it scatter in the mighty name of Jesus. Let it scatter in the mighty name of Jesus. Let it scatter in the mighty name of Jesus. Let it scatter in the mighty name of Jesus. Let it scatter in the mighty name of Jesus. Let it scatter in the mighty name of Jesus. Conspiracy against my Every conspiracy of against my death. So I pray the mighty name of Jesus, son of the living God. I command you by the power of the name of Jesus. Stand right now. Stand right now. Stand in the mighty name of Jesus. 
Sata right now. In the might name of Jesus Christ. In your name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In your mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every conspiracy, organize the greatest power. 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 Organize the greatest in the name of Jesus. The mighty name of Jesus Christ, Son of the Living God. Every conspiracy against my life, against my call, against the destiny of my life. Every the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Son of the Living God. Every conspiracy against my life. He shall pray the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Son of the Living God. I command you to lose your power in the mighty name of Jesus. My father, my soul, he is like for the fight devil the living God. Every conspiracy against my destiny, he is like for the fight devil to do you remember the story of Balaam? Yeah. He paid yeah. to conspire mm -hmm. against Israel. Mm -hmm. yeah. Went with what they call in the book of Numbers, diviner's fee. Mm. He said, curse for me these people. He went with his elders. They convinced the prophet who was known as the right prophet. If you wanted somebody to curse for you, you would seek out this prophet. Mm -hmm. If you wanted somebody to bless, you would seek out the same prophet. Mm -hmm. And they went, started climbing mountains and cursing. Mm -hmm. Praise the Lord. Okay. I want you to rage against every diviner's fee. Any money that was paid, you know when somebody goes to visit a witch doctor, imagine a witch doctor who does not know you and they are convinced to bewitch you. Mm -hmm. You know, people who don't have witchcraft, they contract. So they contract witches. They go, they pay. Mm -hmm. they, they are told. So the person who is giving that mote albanas does not know you. Does not know you. Is a reputed evil man. To conspire against your marriage. To conspire against your children's education. And then when they go back to discuss, he says, I told you that one works like wonders. He doesn't know you, but his kamote is working like wonders in your life. Hey, what were they paid? I want you to see. destroy that fee, diviner's fee. It's mm -hmm. there in the book of Numbers. When you read the story of Balaam, you will see the money he was given. It is called a diviner's fee. Uh -huh. So that diviner's fee, with, we have the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. We can intercept them on that altar, render it null and void, mm -hmm. like the one who, who was contracting did not pay. Oh. And so they will follow him now, demanding payment. Praise God. Amen. And if somebody was something was not paid for, then it is not legally, it does not legally belong to the person who bought it. They 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 have it, you know, they have it and it is against they will be sought out, they will be what do you call it, they repossessed. That thing will be repossessed. So let's destroy that diviner's fee in Jesus' name. Wonderful. I want you to face every altar that has been used by wicked people 
who are conspiring against your life. Mm -hmm. How much do they place on that altar? You evil diviners fee. Mm -hmm. In the name of Jesus Christ, I render you null and you, void. You null and void. Your I render body. you null and void. How much do they pay? The How much do your work shall be corrupted? We destroy you in the mighty name of Jesus. Your kinsman is low. How much do she pay? How much do you pay? The mighty name of Jesus. We destroy you in the mighty name of Jesus. Your wicked daughter in law. How much did she pay? So much money will not look at you. In the name of Jesus Christ, we render it null and void. You are demonic neighbor. So as I put you through the witch, the I pray the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I don't know you call it. Hallelujah. 
in the mighty name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. There's something else I would love you to look at, and we will also get it. We will still get it here in the book of Acts 23. Yeah, we are we are saying uh 12 says, Hallelujah. Yeah, it's verse 12. That prayer point we get it from 12. And when it was day, some of the Jews banded together and bound themselves under an oath. Praise God. Hallelujah. I want you to destroy, dissolve every oath that has been taken by counsel of wickedness that is conspiring against your marriage, against your prosperity. What is the vow that they took? Mm -hmm nullify it in the mighty name of Jesus. You say you vow of evil counsel, conspiring against my destiny. In the name of Jesus, I render you powerless. I dissolve you. I destroy you. you. Jesus Christ, I'm telling God. You know what? Oh, if you it will not happen. Like but if you pray, I pray the mighty name no. of Jesus Christ, Son of the Living God. I render you powerless in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Son of the Living God. Mighty Father, King of Glory. As I pray the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Son of the Living God. That verse against my life. As I pray the mighty name of Jesus Christ, Son of the Living God. I dissolve you right now in the mighty name of Jesus. I Oh, 
Let us finish with this prayer point in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Face them in Jesus' name. Tell them, oh, you evil counsel, you will go home ashamed in the mighty name of Jesus. For your desire upon my life shall not come to pass. That is our last prayer point. Let us pray it as we are preparing to leave. Oh, yes. You will go home ashamed. You will go home with your head in the mighty name of Jesus. My life shall not go the way you want. My children shall not go the way you want. You will desire God. For oh, God is with us. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, you will go home ashamed. You will go home in shame. You will go home in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. For the Lord is in one name. You shall be ashamed against me. You the power the you shall go over share in the mighty name You shall go over share by the power of by the power of glory. Every person conspired in my life. You shall go a share in the mighty You shall go in the by the mighty of Jesus. You evil was fire and get it. 